jumping right into the detail of our turtle. We're gonna switch over to our round brush that we were using earlier to outline our turtle. So this guy right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is define where our eye is. And so we're gonna hop in with our maroon color, remember that burgundy that we used to make the majority of our shell. And we're going to define where the eye is. So we're gonna do a pretty large circle. And it's gonna be concentrated in this upper top, like left corner of our, eye, of our head. And you're just going to put in a really big oval, just like that. It's going to look a little odd at first, but trust me, it'll all make sense in just a few short minutes. So as soon as you get in your big circle, or the kind of ovular circle, not too circle circle, we're going to go ahead and define the eye within the eyebrows, which is basically a football on a diagonal. So just like that, inside, so then I'll, now you have, just inside that circle, and now you have an upper eyebrow and a lower eyelid, and we can even extend this up a little bit more. They have a pretty large area that, that takes care of, just like so. And then using the same colors, we're going to start putting in some of the plates. And so you can start them as just like little bursts coming off of the eye, the best way to start in my opinion and then just start forming fun little shapes as you develop outwards. They don't have to look like my shapes at all, guys. These are just whatever you desire, you can do. You can make them circles, you make them triangles, it's whatever you like. But I just like to build on them like a, like a little bit of like a jigsaw puzzle, just like this. And then while we have this color on our brush, we're also going to define the little smiley face of our sea turtle right there. Also the lower beak is right there. It's just kind of a, a backwards J. And then don't forget to add in a little nostril up there. And just like that, we already have our turtle really coming together, guys. Now in this step, we're going to start layering in all of the uh, little wrinkles that really make up all this texture on our turtle. But first we need to define the underbelly, which is right here. So it's just gonna be a quick little line just like that. And then of course, the bottom of the shell also connects to the top of the shell just on the other side of this flipper. So once you have those areas defined, you're now gonna fill in this portion, this whole area in here, with some wrinkles. And so I recommend using a mixture of your maroon color with some of your um, nickel alzo or your rusty color that you have. You can mix those two together or use one or the other. It's whatever you prefer. I kinda like a mix of both. And then just start layering in in a circular motion, just like this. See how I'm like, using my um, using the angle to create form. So we're creating the illusion that the neck is right here and it's curving going up to the head. And now we're just creating like little footballs or like little braids, whatever you want to think about it, little, little pearls from these markings in the neck to show you that there is some wrinklage. And of course, we're gonna go in in a little while and add some highlights in here as well. And then whenever you reach the arm, you're going to wanna switch the way your wrinkles are flowing and make them flow down the body and rather than across it like that. And that just gives him more form. So see just quickly how, just like that, a few things, really gives your little turtle a lot more depth and realism. And they also have some of these little wrinkles going up into the lower jaw. But just know that these right here are different from these up here. These are going to be plates, these are just wrinkles. Perfect, perfect. So we're also going to be using this brush to go ahead and shade the underbelly. And the shading is going to be all done in teal and a little bit of that nickel alzo or your rusty color. It's gonna make that really like a nice green color. 
and you're just going to line that on the lower portion of the body. And this is just going to start creating some depth and it's also showing how the body is reflecting the color from below and just in general giving him a little more form. And don't forget to add that same color to the underside of the chest right here as well. A little bit more teal. And don't worry if you feel like your shell is starting to blend in with your background a little bit. We're gonna be doing a whole heck of a lot more development on this turtle before we're all done. Go ahead and fill in the eye area with just pure teal. It's gonna be a really bright, pretty eye. Just like that. And you're also going to highlight around the eye in pure white. So the eyebrow is going to be all white to start with. And so is the lower lid as well. And you're also gonna take a little bit of white into the beak and the upper portion of the nose, up here and up here, just so we can have a really nice highlight later on when we come in with some more colors. You're gonna put a little bit on the lower beak there too. And now while we have our little round brush, we're gonna take some of that maroon color and we're gonna start adding in some little markings in here, feathering out from the eye, but not filling in the entire square. This is something that is a kind of a defining look for a lot of hawksbills where they have this burst of color around the eye and then it kind of dissipates as it goes further down the head into almost pure yellow on the plates. But you can fill them in a bit more if you would like. This is your painting, so please do what makes you happy. And don't forget to fill in the top. And while we're doing this, we're also going to go ahead and add in a few little plates in the eyebrow and the lower eyelid as well. Just like that. Now I'm gonna grab a bit of our nickel color, so that's more of the rusty orange color, it's different from the burgundy. I'm going to add that into the beak right over here. And then immediately go back over with a little bit of white to smooth out the edge. And even add a little bit on the lower jaw as well. And you then can also add a little bit of a little patch of white in the lower jaw there, a little patch of white on the upper jaw where he's gonna be like smiling. Just like so. And now you're gonna grab maybe a bit of yellow and a little bit of white and you're gonna add in some highlights on the wrinkles. And you're gonna concentrate the yellow-white mix just on the upper portion right here. And then you're gonna take some more white, a little bit more of that nickel color, and pull that down a bit further. Just like that. Also gonna take that color and just give the shell on the lower portion a little bit of a highlight. Just like that. And see how it's my brush is getting pretty dry as I'm painting this in. That actually is not a bad thing. It can make it makes a really nice textured effect. Just like that. Excellent, guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and start layering in our turtle shell. So I'm gonna switch back to my flat brush because I like the way that that 
smoothly adds in a line, but if you would prefer you're more comfortable with your round brush, please do that. Just make sure whatever brush you end up using is very clean. So we're gonna start with creating the rim of our shell. And you're just gonna go in just a little bit, create a nice outline right there. That's going to be the rim. And you can go ahead and add in the little plates on the edge for the barrier, just like that. And then you're going to create the shell with their layering effects. So you're gonna really wanna pay attention to this part. I'm actually going to switch over to the round brush just for this part, just so I have a little bit more control over this. So your first plate is going to start right here where your second little line was made and it's going to swoop up because your shell is curved, so you can't do a straight line. If you do a straight line, you're gonna be, you're gonna be creating a flat image, so you need to have curvature when you're doing this. So just keep that in mind. So you're gonna have that nice curved line. It's gonna go all the way up and touch the top. And now you're going to create your next line, comes down at a diagonal right there, and then connects in a curve similar to that one, down to the rim. And then you're going to have another line come out from this one, also at a curve, going down the back. Just like that. And then again, you're gonna choose that line, gonna make a diagonal, and then connect it back down Start back here at this little point and then curve up. And then back down again. And this one you can really just do almost a straight line. And then you're only gonna have one more plate. It's gonna go just like that in the back. And just like that, you have your beautiful hawksbill sea turtle shell. So now all you gotta do is go in and add in the little plates and the flippers and you are all set for this part of the painting. And then we'll finish up all the details of the turtle in the next step, and then with one more step, we'll do all of our touch-ups in the background. So you're gonna start with the front flippers by putting in the plates on the front side of the flipper. So you put these nice elongated, kind of rectangular plates in first, and you can build out from there. And just make sure whenever you reach the other side, where you have your little hills and your little bumps that you just kind of make use. Just like that. You'll have a better impression of that over here. So again, in the front portion of your flipper, you're gonna have these kind of curved rectangles going down the front. And again, this is creating perspective and form. Just like so. And then as soon as you get done with that, you're going to start in immediately and add in the little curved kind of U-shaped plates. And then as soon as you have that done, you're just going to jigsaw puzzle together the rest of the plates. So just kind of make up all of the shapes in between them. There's nothing you can do wrong here, guys. 
Once you have both sides of the flipper set in, you just start connecting all these sides and these shapes together, and then you're all good. Just have fun with it, guys. If you wanted to, you could do triangles, you could do circles, it's totally up to you. Like that. And then, of course, we can't forget the back flipper. So with the back flipper, I would start with your little sideways U-shapes, like that. And then you're gonna form up the front portion, just like so. And then just as I showed you with the other flippers, you're just going to connect the space in between. Perfect guys, so now we're gonna let this rest and then we'll get back into more details in the following step.